Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Where today, we are going to maybe do like a uh, boss rush and hush is this character. If it doesn't work out, we could go in a different direction. Uh, we still have Mother to do, we still have the Beast to do as well, but uh, then let's just give it a shot. See if we can make it somewhere good. It would be cool to unlock Tainted Keeper, as it is a pretty interesting character. But going in the Mother route is also tempting for sure. Uh, this is an active item that lets me go real quick. But I currently don't really have a need for that, I would say. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave that alone and unfortunately not have a starting item. <laughs> Instead, we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. We have a kind of a tricky room here with all these jumping flaming creatures, but at least the one in the corner is playing nice by not participating even slightly. And as such, making it a little bit easier to clear that room. I'm tempted to go into the shop real quick just to see if there's hearts there because I think they would just turn into flies immediately. Uh, or we get a big shop that we very, very rarely see anymore. Because uh, it just doesn't show up as frequently anymore in Repentance. But it does still technically exist and therefore we are witnessing an exciting moment here today. And we can also use that to take Pokey Go with us and occasionally get a useful friend. Hopefully that will carry us onwards to the boss rush and hush with relative ease. And if not, then at least we try. We have four bombs, so I could actually go and try to see if my secret room's anywhere. And it does appear to be somewhere. We also have plenty of keys. Might as well go for those golden chests on occasion. And yeah, we're getting a pretty decent amount of money and things at least, so hopefully if this big bat can help us clear out these remaining nasty places, maybe not take damage from an enemy there. Uh, and also I didn't actually leave coins behind anywhere, so we're kind of in a dangerous place. I could very easily die here. I'd rather not, obviously, but uh, let's see what we can do. <laughs> the bat's actually doing a decent amount of damage here from the look of things, so that's pretty good. Uh, we did get a coin. I'm gonna go in this direction for now. See if we can make this work out. Uh, for boss rush, I do feel it is a little bit of an awkward direction to go into for sure. But I'm just gonna hope it works out. Just gonna hope it works out and just run for it. Uh, occasionally hoping to get an item room that gives me two items and uh, one of them is bad and the guessing one is gonna be good because it does make life a little bit more exciting. Let's just turn all of that into flies as well with that ace of hearts. Nice thing about this character is that you never actually get hearts, of course. You just get more flies. That is a good friend right there. That is about the best friend you can get with Poke Go, And it cleared the <laughs> thing instantly. Uh, I don't have any money. I kind of forgot about that. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave. <laughs> Probably could have planned that a little bit better, I suppose, because you do get Devil Deal items with this character by spending money rather than hearts, so... Yeah, having money ready for that would have been a, a, a decent idea for sure, but... I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep on moving on. That is pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good indeed. That is a lot of extra protection. There was a Tinted Rock in that room, but I don't particularly need it right now. With the Holy Mantle, we can enter Curse Rooms effectively for free, so that's also rather nice. Uh, I say effectively because I can very easily take some damage there, but it worked out in the end. With some luck, our Devil Deal is still open, so we can at least check it with the 16 coins that we have. We might not be able to afford anything in there, but unfortunately, the door closed, so we're gonna go for Angel Rooms. <laughs> But this does allow me to go a little bit quicker, a little bit more dangerously, and all that good stuff. So it does make it a little bit more tempting to go for um, the boss rush and hush for sure. Because I can just run for it without really having to worry about stuff. Uh, Play-Doh cookie, always a, always a good time. I'm genuinely surprised how frequently this thing shows up, but I'm very happy that it always does. And also surprised that the Viz is still alive, actually. It's actually been alive for quite a while now. I appreciate that. Didn't expect to get hit there, but I'll take it. 22 coins, that is a tr That wasn't a trinket, it was just a weird looking thing. Uh, might as well take that. Uh, might be useful later, I suppose. And with that, we're just gonna keep on running. I'm a little tempted 
to get knife pieces just for the sake of like, what if... What if it ends up working out? What if we end up being able to go to Mother even though we're also trying to go for Boss Rush? I guess for Hush, specifically, that's not great. Getting a health up right there is just wonderful, though. Very happy about that. And uh, we could probably go to the boss challenge room if things line up the way I'm expecting them to. Could have probably also used it in a better way, but there you go. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but again, Viz actually doing quite a lot of work here to make sure that the bosses are not a problem. Probably not going to survive for much longer because he keeps touching the bosses, but... Yeah, I don't know, he's doing a lot of- he did a lot of work in the short time that he was around. He more or less cleared the entire- entire downpour there, so... Pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about how things are going so far. We have a pretty quick basement. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna ignore the knife pieces and be on my way. There is ten coins over there, I will grab that in a second. But I'd rather just have it on the way back in case I take some damage during this boss fight right here. I think that's the right call to make. And we are getting through this rather rapidly. The triple shot of the Keeper does allow for some quick damage as long as you manage to hit with all these tiers, of course. And as long as we're just sort of circling around this boss right here, he doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Holy Mantle protecting us from any nastiness there. And then just tanking the rest without really worrying about life too much. All in all, not... The best build so far. I mean, Holy Mantle is carrying us pretty well, but other than that, we don't have too much going on for us, but I'd argue that it's probably enough to at least clear the boss rush for now. All the flies that we're seeing because of those red hearts as well is pretty good. We have a lot of money to work with, and maybe we can get a decent angel room as well. Obviously, if we get something like the spirit sword or something like that, we would get through it with relative ease. Maybe something along the lines of uh, a Sacred Heart would be obviously rather nice as well. But I will say that Play-Doh Cookie is probably doing more than I'm giving it credit for right now, as uh, all these little status effects are dealing large quantities of damage over time, of course. I think this will create a bridge, and it will. Allowing us to probably enter our secret room here. There you go. And it allows us to check out the boss challenge room as well. Which is experimental treatment, which usually I would go for, but if it's in a boss challenge room and I'm trying to go slightly quick... I don't really feel like it. So instead, let's just holy mantle our way through that uh, creep right there and survive easily. We got another big bat. Hopefully that's going to help us out a little bit with clearing out a variety of things. Is there anything else I could reasonably do afterwards? Uh, outside of Hush, we, 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 have, we have done both other directions. Uh, we have done Mega Satan already as well, so it really is just... Yeah, it really is just Boss Rush and Hush we're going for today, I guess, but... That's still a good goal to go for. Almost seven minutes uh, into the Caves 2 right now, which is plenty of time remaining for the remaining things we have to do. I'm a little bit tempted to look for Small Rock, but the... Movement speed that I currently have will make that incredibly awkward, so I'm not overly tempted, I suppose. Should grab every bomb I can find. I'm a little concerned that one direction I can go to in the top right there is going to lead to an item room or a shop or something like that, but hopefully it does not. And we're just, uh, yeah, just going to keep running. Occasionally chopping an enemy, which is nice. A barrel right there to help us clear out some evildoers as well. We have destroyed a shopkeeper. We could look for a bum since we still have to... Uh, still have to find the item room and shop anyway, so... No real reason not to look for that. Getting uh, a little bit lower on reasons as we clear out one room and it immediately has the item room next to it, though. Uh, it's, it's working out. It's working out. There you go. My little unicorn... Hmm. Unicorn Horn is good. I don't know if I want to bother with it, though. Um, since I would rather just have more and more money with this character, of course. Occasionally we might get a Devil Deal or something like that, and then it becomes a lot more tempting to try and go for that. But, I mean, there's only so many floors left, I suppose, as well. And with a 50% off, Devil Deals also become so much more tempting. So it's kind of unfortunate that we... Didn't end up getting that first devil deal because of my own 
uh, misdeeds there, but hopefully it's gonna work out still. Could look for a super secret room, but I'd rather just keep going. The nice thing about this is that we also don't have to worry about angel statues either, so we, we can use our bombs whenever we want. Uh, we are not wasting time killing angels either, so we have a little bit more time to work with. It does cost a little bit of time to kill those angels after all. And uh, yeah, I would really like to have a little bit more damage or something like that from an angel room. If possible. But we shall see what we get, I suppose. So far, these boss fights are at least not proving to be too difficult, they're just a little bit slow. There's the Angel Room, there is the Book of Virtues, which hopefully is going to end up working in my favor a bit. We do have that Strength card as well, which hopefully might make the uh, boss rush and things a little bit more easy as well. But it, yeah, I'd still like a little bit more for sure. As safe as this build is, we can create flames now at least with that wooden nickel and the Book of Virtues, so that's good. But I still would love to see just a little bit more. Really didn't do much of anything there myself, but they, they ended up just sort of destroying themselves there, so that worked out. We'll have to remember to use this coin as frequently as I can, but that's more or less the character anyway, so that works out. Book of Virtue is definitely not a bad item to increase the quality of your build. Provided you have an active item. Even without it, it's still a little bit good, but obviously with an active item that charges so quickly. You can end up with quite a lot of decent flames that way. Chariot card... Eh, tempting. Again, but really for reasons that aren't really relevant because I have that holy mantle. Although the chariot card combined with the, the flames that we have could also lead to some pretty good times as well, so... It is a little tempting. But I think I'm just going to leave it alone. The Unicorn Horn with the flames probably would have been amazing, but I, I feel like I would need a school back to realistically take that. I do really like the added safety of um, the wooden nickel at the end of the day, just because you get so much more health out of it. And it is good to have some reliable healing with you at all times. Queen of Hearts finally saw it with this character. Just turns it into a bunch of flies, of course, because red hearts become flies, but... Uh, Still pretty good. Obviously a pretty good way to uh, immediately have a bunch of flies run into a mask and die without dealing damage. So it could be better, <laughs> but it, it is what it is. Sometimes you don't run into a room filled with masked enemies and then it actually it is pretty good to have such a large quantity of flies after all. So still not overly disappointed at the end of the day. But wouldn't mind if the next one that we see might end up being a little bit more useful. With most characters, if you have a dark bum or something like that, then you can deal. You can get so much health from it. If you have a red heart build, then obviously it's very good. But none of those things apply to this character, unfortunately. So instead, it is what it is. We managed to get the most out of it that we could. This is an awkward room, but I think the spectral tears might be helping us out a little bit here. Holy Mantle once again helping us out as well with... Some of the explosions hanging out. These flames that are exploding occasionally turn into coins as well, so that does make the build even safer. I don't think it's every time, but it does happen on occasion, so that's pretty good. Just gonna keep chugging those because so far the pill pool hasn't been completely terrible. I'm hoping it stays that way. Ah, uh, more defense. <laughs> Again, not quite what I'm looking for, but. It's technically not nothing. At least got a couple flies from that thing right there, so... Not too terrible there either, but... Really like a little bit more on the offensive side at this stage. 95 coins and not really anything to spend it on either is a little rough, but... Time-wise, we should still at least be okay, so we got that going for us. I was kind of hoping that one would explode and not turn into an icicle, but... Unfortunately, it cannot be helped. These enemies don't really shoot tears either, so our bot fly isn't going to do much of anything. The bones are getting stopped from these skeletons, at least. But these enemies just shoot their own little worm friends, and other than destroying our flames, not really getting the most out of this. But we're moving on. We're moving on confidently, hoping for the best, running into the first tier that we see. And uh, once again, reminded that the bot fly does unfortunately not stop quite everything, but... Doing his best, doing his best. And we do have a little bit of extra tears here to 
do a little bit of extra damage with that Book of Virtues, so it's not taking too long. Don't really need the, the hand, I suppose, but at least we got some bombs out of our troubles. And we got Viz back, which is uh, a pretty important source of damage on most days, really. It does end up clearing so much. Occasionally we get that effect that the Rotten Mushroom does, I believe, which is causing enemies to fight each other rather violently, so... Ending up doing a little bit more damage there. That is a bunch of nothing. Something's wrong. We do have restock. I've kind of forgot about that. Uh, so I should use a bunch of these things, I suppose. Sun card, humbling bundle, and kind of forget how you work here. We're in depths one, so that's for soul hearts. Depths two, it's not really going to be useful. It's going to be useful rather late, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Might as well use the Sun card. Uh, a bit unfortunate. Because I do want to have that Strength card available for the boss rush. I'm carrying the uh, thing that I didn't intend to take. <laughs> Don't particularly need the placebo. Probably should have at least used it for the sake of creating a little flame there, but no. That's ultimately fine. Hoping that Viz can do some work here, but it is a little bit tricky for that particular enemy type. My character looks really happy though, so I'm kind of happy about that at the end of the day. Doesn't look like the tears are actually dealing damage to Viz though, or at least not hitting for the most part. So I can appreciate that at least. And this shouldn't take too long the moment that Brimstone comes out either, so very nice, very good. Very nice indeed. Five coins right there. Please open the door. Hey, another angel room. Halo? I mean, it's a stat up. It's not... I mean, my tier rate went up by 0 0.06. My damage is slightly higher. It's all technically a stat up. And that's really all I have to say about it. <laughs> uh, 14... Yeah, okay. In time-wise, we are definitely fine. It's just that in terms of build to, to do a boss rush with, I'm just not overly like happy about my current situation. And if we had to do a hush like this, I would probably be even more unhappy with my situation. So, yeah, there you go. Doesn't look like Viz is interested in this room, which is unfortunate because it means that I actually have to do some work here and I, uh, I don't want to. I guess I could just do this, which is probably the easier method of doing this. I don't really want you to run into the spikes there, Viz, either, so... Oh, now you figured it out. Now that we destroyed that one rock, suddenly this is aware of enemies. <laughs> Strange. Fair enough, I suppose, but a little odd for sure. Uh, please do not explode. Please do not stand next to the thing and then die. That's so unfortunate. It is such an important source of damage when that creature is there. So hopefully we can get another one somehow, but obviously not guaranteed. I'm tempted to just bomb out of this room because... No real point, but perhaps we can get a good consumable to land in the middle of the room and as such not actually be pick upable. And that would be a fun little bit of heartbreak as we progress through this uh, run. It, it's it's going for sure. I, I should probably find a shopkeeper on this floor somewhere. So I can at least increase my chances of a devil deal or something like that a little bit. We also have higher Angel Room chance. Also, we got this back again. That's actually kind of incredible that we keep getting this back, but I'll take it. Uh, because of the Book of uh, Virtues, I guess we have higher Angel Room chance, which is not quite what I would want with my current money situation, but I suppose it'll have to do. PhD. Uh, with the range up right there. Uh, that's not bad, Magic Fingers, but not quite what I'm looking for. And I think I'll take the booster pack and then just call it a day there. Although Black Candle can't quite afford it, unfortunately. Uh, this will probably give me flies. Might not. Not sure. World card. I'll take that. Strength. Chariot. Hmm. Yeah, there's some tempting stuff in there for sure. We are very much on the wrong side of the map to try and go for our boss rush, unfortunately, but... Three minutes to clear these remaining rooms isn't too terrible. A little curious what's inside the boss challenge room right here. Might as well blow all of this up. The humbling bundle giving me a bunch more money as well. So the black candle again becomes a little more tempting. And the magic scab unfortunately doesn't do that much for me. So we're just going to have to leave it alone. 
Little bit of an annoying room, but if you have Holy Mantle, they can't really do anything to you, so no worries there. Please, no! <laughs> Why does that keep happening? At least I can blow this one up for a little bit more Devil Deal chance. A lot of money as well. Yeah, it's a little tempting to get that Black Candle just to make sure we don't get curses anymore. Uh, Guppy's Tail. We do have 12 keys, and it's not too terrible. Don't hate that immediately. Uh, power pill? Might be worth, but again, strength is just gonna increase our damage by so much that I feel like I can't just get rid of strength, unfortunately, if we wanna do both boss rush and hush in the limited amount of time that we ultimately have. So, just gonna leave that alone for now. Getting two coins out of our uh, wooden nickel because of the humbling bundle again. So yeah, pretty good deal. Pretty good deal for sure. Definitely don't mind that item at times. Little concerned about the boss rush in terms of how we're gonna do it, but hopefully we're gonna be alright. Was very late tempted to check out my super secret room, but then I walked into the door already, so ultimately doesn't matter. Didn't get a friend to help us out here, really. Uh, not sure what that enemy is doing, but didn't get a viz to just insta clear this fight, unfortunately. Would have been nice, but it is what it is. Uh, occasionally, we do get some enemies on our side with some of our Play-Doh tiers, at least, so we do have that going for us. Uh, one minute to clear this boss definitely shouldn't be impossible. But it is taking a minute for me to deal damage here. <laughs> Trying to use Mom's Knife to the best of my ability, but it's a little hard to use when it's part of the transformation, unfortunately. You can only move so far away from that foot as it's stomping on you to still deal damage with it, so... A little worrying. Yeah, there you go. Moon card? Eh, not quite what I want. There you go. I uh, don't really need the Polaroid anymore either, so we can just get the extra damage from the negative at least. So that's appreciated. Uh, luck up. Do I need that? Let's just run here real quick. That's a pentagram. Might as well take that for seven coins. Um... I don't think I really have any luck-based things, and I don't really want to lose it to taking damage either, so we're just not going to do that. Uh, wow, that's just two really interesting items that we have available here. Just going to put that down somewhere over there and hope that it's going to end up doing something while I deal with the Carrion Queen here. Occasionally throwing a bomb at it and using that Strength card, and now I remember. Because our damage going up by 4.5 is a pretty good deal. I feel like the Sprinker probably will hit an enemy on occasion at least, so I'm hoping that's gonna do some extra damage here as well. Not sure if the Sprinkler tiers are gonna, like, deal extra damage after I use that Strength card after using it, but we'll see, I suppose. And now that there's two coins over there, it's also a little bit more tempting to maybe... Uh, you know what, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, maybe with the two coins there, maybe I should just use the sprinkler a little bit more often so we can speed us up a little bit more, but... I'd rather just beat the boss rush. If it means we don't beat Hush at the end of the day, then... As long as we beat this, then at least that's progress, I'd say, so I'd rather just not worry about things too much. We do have bombs to work with as well, and occasionally I'm just blowing myself up, so... There is some arguably positive things going on there. <laughs> Uh, I do wish I could carry multiple cards into this fight, though, because I wouldn't have minded to have the chariot card to just run into enemies with those flames as well, because that would end up dealing a pretty significant amount of damage, but... Eh. At the end of the day, we're just doing our best here, you know? And I'd say we're doing okay. We have a lot of money in the room. We have a decent amount of defense with that bot fly still. The sprinklers are occasionally hitting something, hopefully. <laughs> And, uh, you know, occasionally you're just going to have to call that a win. And that's exactly what we're doing. Provided we win, of course. We still have ten more ways of this to go, so... We still have a ways to go. We can't just count our blessings just yet until we have actually won the fight. Sprinkler did take down one of the uh, flying parts of whatever that boss's name is, Fistula. So, you know, doing a little bit of work. Some of these bosses don't take that long to die either, so that's looking pretty good. And maybe with some bombs, I might be able to get away with just bombing my way through the womb or something like that. And uh, trying to get to Hush as quickly as possible. It certainly is going to be a risky strat, and also my damage is not 
hush compatible, I'll call it, because it's, <laughs> it's taking a while to do much of anything. With the boss rush, at least, you can get so many coins in the room that you don't really have much to worry about, but as it stands, I can't quite replicate that during the hush fight. That boss was in a spike, so he died instantly. Very good level design there. <laughs> Helped us out, so I'm not mad about it either. If it would have hurt us, obviously would have been furious. But I'd say that that worked out just fine. Occasionally just trying to lure enemies into this, this knife that I have, even though it deals a little bit of damage to me. I think the time not wasted is probably going to end up being worthwhile. Hit him with a bomb there, and I think I hit Pin or something there as well, because the other boss also died instantly, so that worked out. This boss uh, just sitting around, so I can appreciate that as well. So far it's going alright. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's fairly guaranteed that boss rush is going to be a victory here, and that is wonderful. I'm not sure where Monster 2 is going, unfortunately, but did manage to kill a boss, so I guess I'm not too bothered. Let's not die now, though. <laughs> Briefly hit that one hit point mark. Once again hit it. So let's just see. Uh, yeah, there's no more health there. That's what you get. That's what you get when you're being cocky. Suddenly you start taking damage all over the place and then you're nearly dead. So <laughs> always be playing it safe, I suppose. We only have a little bit more to go. It would be a waste to just suddenly die now. Not sure what a second. Ah, oh, it's Ghost Friend. Genuinely forgot the name. <laughs> don't worry about it. He's almost dead, and then we don't have to think about it anymore. We have destroyed the ghost friend. We have <laughs> we have done it. We have reached the last wave of the boss rush. And we are nearly done here. Sprinkler doing some work finally. There you go. Very nice. Sticky nickels have appeared in the basement. That's alright. It's occasionally. Five extra coins in exchange for one bomb. So, you know, that, that could end up being useful. Wasn't... I knew it was an unlock, but I genuinely wasn't sure how you unlock it. So I'm happy that I actually finally got that. Uh, I'm just gonna bomb my way through this floor right here. I'm just gonna go through all the big rooms as much as I can in the hope that it's the right direction. So far, it does seem to be a big enough floor. We got Viz there. Uh, did take some damage there, but I think we healed up using that. This I can probably clear just fine fairly quickly. I would argue that this is probably the correct direction to go into to actually clear the floor. So I'm hoping that that's accurate just based on how far we've traveled and not really seen any dead ends. It did end up working out. Butter, always fun, always fun. And that is a very quick womb one. Don't mind that. Not a very good item at the end there, unfortunately, but we did make it through very, very quickly. So provided that this floor isn't too terrible, which it's a scarred womb without a map, so you know, that's how the game knows. Um, we might still make it to Hush at least. Whether we win or not, that's a whole other can of beans, I suppose, but... We, we have a definite potential, especially if we can uh, make sure that Viz stays alive for sure, because that is an important part of just destroying Mom's heart in time as well. Um, got a running boy there. He's probably not going to survive it too long, but he might end up taking down an enemy or two. There is some hands coming my way. Not sure how I didn't take damage from the pin there, but I'll take it. Never mind that. Whenever it works out in my favor, I will never ask questions because it will simply lead to bad times. That's two vizzes. So that's actually, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage right there. This is worrying though. Don't like this room. Can I just bomb out of this instead? Because I think I don't want to deal with this. And yeah, we lost both vizzes, but we did make it to the boss. <laughs> so unfortunately we lost all of our damage, but we did gain the location of the boss room, so, you know, win and lose and all that. We'll just have to make do with what we got. Little unfortunate, for sure, but... Eh. Also, we have a moon card, so if all else fails and all else goes wrong, then at least we can just leave. But we did just suddenly create a lot of health in this room by destroying our little coin flame, so... You know what? I think we're gonna be okay. The bot fly is really genuinely trying his best, but there's just a lot of tears going on here. But, uh, yeah, this is gonna be an interesting hush fight for sure. <laughs> if I win this hush fight, then quite genuinely I'm very surprised, but we'll see. We'll see what happens at the end of the day. There is another angel room there. 
That was very quick, actually. Uh, that's a lot of extra damage. And it's a Seraphim transformation, which uh, is also a thing. Uh, tempted to clear out, like, one more room just so I have a coin available. But it is gonna probably have to be this one, which kind of sucks. Uh, and I don't care for that too much. But we do have, like, three minutes remaining. So I'd rather just make sure we have at least one use of the... Uh, wooden nickel available just so I can maybe put some health down there Unfortunately lost that flame there as well, but fair enough But there you go that is a charges up wooden nickel that hopefully is gonna drop some coins in the hush room If we can win this then I'm gonna be very happy if we lose it then fair enough at least we cleared boss rush and I'm genuinely quite happy about that because it is the Crickier one to reach usually, so don't mind that at all. Um, not sure how Moon is gonna work, but I'm hoping that it's gonna allow us to just go back somewhere if all else fails. Uh, tier detonator is not terrible. Shot speed up, sure. Um, hmm, that's actually a thing. I could just buy stuff here, I guess, since I do have a lot of money available. Blue map. And potato peeler, which doesn't really do anything for me, I don't think. I can balls see. of steel is some flies, I think. That's another balls of steel. I know the other character, I'd be very happy with those pills, but yeah, fair enough. Health up. Mm. I don't think that works the way I want it to, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, enough of that. I'm hoping... Yeah, genuinely hoping that the... Uh, yeah, that's gonna work out. That's soy milk. That's tempting, actually. Because my tier rate's pretty terrible, but if I can just cause a lot of status effects, then that might end up working out. Uh, my damage is 9. This is unfortunate about my damage situation, but I think it's... I don't think I hate it. I actually don't think I hate this. So, yeah, fair enough. So, let's just touch that. Let's just reroll all this. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I'm not sure what happened there, but I caught some flames and some flies. Did I turn everything into hearts? Is that what happened there and that's why it's all gone? <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the tear detonator once just for a good measure. And we are going to get started here. <sighs> Let's see how this is gonna work out. Genuinely not sure. We did manage to put some health in the floor, so that's good. Um, Damage-wise, we're okay. Just really need to not take damage, which is always a good time and definitely guaranteed in these fights. But yeah, it's it's all right. It's manageable for this first phase, at least. The second phase is obviously not going to be as fun. We're just going to do our best. We're just going to do our best. The fact that there is some health in the room is actually really nice. The small battery from the... And we created some more money right there because of the small battery that we got from the battery baby right there. So that is obviously very good. We're creating flames with one of our flames, I guess, so... Uh, if we can somehow keep that one alive, that'd be lovely. Obviously not very guaranteed because of the many tiers. The botfly is trying his best at the end of the day, but there is just a lot to deal with. But if we can kind of stay away from all the action, then maybe we can get it to work out for a while. It might have just gotten destroyed as well, because one flame did just get destroyed as well, but... Yeah, eh, that seems to still be working. That's another battery right there. Very nice. Not sure if it is the battery baby or something else that is dropping those tiny batteries, but I don't mind it. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. Not sure where you're attacking right now, but alright. Just take that and drop another coin on the floor. Very nice. We're doing... We're getting pretty far so far. We've obviously not reached the more irritating parts of the fight, but... It's going all right. If you can keep this up, then I'm going to be very happy. This is a little awkward for our flame situation. That doesn't help either. Yep. That is just a lot of flies trying to deal damage to me, but I think... We're good. <laughs> All right, little brimstone there. Don't mind that. It was a flame that got destroyed, so yeah, it's you know it's fair enough, but still. Uh, 
don't I don't like it. I don't like this. <laughs> we do still have our holy mantle as well, surprisingly enough. So it's it's going as hoped, really. I like a day where things just kind of work out, and today, hopefully, is one of those days. Oh uh, god. Oh no. That's worrying. There's a lot of flies there. Yeah. The flies did not help me out there, unfortunately. Uh, noticing some enemies. Yeah. This is an annoying combination of attacks. The battery baby trying his best to occasionally freeze the enemies as well, but... It's alright. Just gonna hang out over here in a nice and safe spot. Far away from all the danger. Yeah, just hang out. Just stay underground forever. Always good times fighting Hush. Ooh, God, I'm too slow. My movement speed does not like that attack, unfortunately. <laughs> God, he is not feeling it. He is not feeling death today. I'm trying to just stay away from all the nastiness, but he's not making it easy. It's working out, though. I think I'm in the right spot. If you can just do this for a while, then that's okay, too, because you are slowly dying. And we are just about done here. Yeah, there you go. That's Hush defeated on the Keeper. Keeper now holds a penny. Um, I think that's just that you start with extra health uh, every time you do a run with the Keeper. So you don't have to get an extra heart container before you get that third heart container. So that's obviously really nice. Um, that's about all I can do, really. So unless we find an R key somewhere, then that's about it. And I don't mind that. We've done Delirium as well. So I don't need to worry about that. Could have put some coins in my donation machine, I suppose. But I didn't think of it. And... Uh, we could look for a seeker room on this floor, at least. We could have stuff like that going for us. But yeah, very happy how that went. Very happy to get those two things out of the way. It is going to make future runs as this character a little bit easier. So if we're going to go for the beast and mother, then we will just have an extra heart container at the start of the run. And I think that is pretty valuable. And I'm hoping that it is valuable. <laughs> I have to assume it probably is. If I die now, it doesn't even matter because we've already done everything that I set out to do at this point as well, so... Not at all bothered. Maybe my secret room's over here. I don't have a lot of bombs to work with, unfortunately, so... Do kind of want to play it a little bit safe in terms of where I'm going to place these bombs, but it does look like there's some potential here. Just a little bit of this boss right here, but no worries. The soy milk is actually... I feel like soy milk kind of saved me there as well. Because at the end of the day, it, it is just a lot of status effects we're dealing to the enemies. We're, we're hitting a lot of our shots. Soy milk with the extra damage modifier from uh, that spinny heart tear heart thing is just pretty wonderful as well so all in all pretty good stuff uh, i forgot i bought a blue map as you might have been able to notice uh, otherwise i would have just checked the map and seen where the uh, secret rooms were <laughs> but you know what are you gonna do it's already too late uh, this is a really cool dead end it looks like we have a pretty big floor ahead of us also i'm not really sure how much um an R key would really assist me in making life easier. I mean, obviously we do have a lot of items, but it's not the best build I've ever had. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'd, I'd argue it's definitely not the worst either. If we find something like Brimstone after this with an R key, then it is still a pretty damn effective build, I think, because usually Brimstone takes so long to charge on this character, but if you have it with Soy Milk, then obviously it's uh, going to be pretty great. Mostly thinking of Brimstone just because we're going to get those four Devil Deal items at the start of the next floor. So there is some actual potential there for Brimstone as well. Definitely not guaranteed in terms of uh, actually going to get it. But ooh, uh, I'm just hoping for the best at this point. I mean, there's only two secret rooms remaining between here and, uh, <laughs> and uh, the end of the run, I suppose. Unless we get a Delirium Portal at the Lamb or something like that, but... You know, it never hurt. It never hurts to hope or whatever. I mean, it obviously, almost exclusively does. But when when it doesn't, that's pretty great. That is a super greed right there. So that does limit the odds of an R key, unfortunately. There is a super secret room over there, which I feel like I might as well go for since I'm in the area anyway. Red chest, no devil deal. 
Should probably pick up some of the money for all those Devil Deal items on the next floor, though. But our money situation never really got bad, it, well, except for Basement 2, I suppose. It wasn't great there, but other than that, we've always had a pretty decent money situation, so I'm not really too concerned. Even with restock and everything as well, like, I bought a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of active items, about, mostly, but still, it, it was stuff. It counts as stuff. No worries there. Still gonna use this bomb. I can just use the moon card on the next floor after all, so I'm not really too concerned about running out of bombs either. That is a hit to my holy mantle. Which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Just gonna drop some more money there. Uh, I don't like this attack. It's just slightly more awkward to dodge than any of the other attacks. <laughs> It's just a little bit quicker. Which I guess is the point of the attack, but still, I don't care for it. Uh, since then, you have to really watch out for when he does do the brimstone attack, and that's spooky. Really quite a lot of batteries from this battery baby as well. He's been helping out a lot. Surprisingly, didn't need him as much as I would have expected to for the hush fight, because we really barely took any damage, but still, it... It has been helping out in, in the mental game, at least, and that is an important part of Isaac at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, it's working out. Very nice, very good. Let's keep going. One more floor to go. Don't, don't really feel like doing Delirium, so if we do get a Delirium port, I'm probably just going to end it there, but... Uh, it's, uh, it's technically an option. Bad PhD book. Uh, another book. Ooh, that would be Bookworm, I think. So let's just do that. Um, I don't think we ever really got a bad pill, I suppose. Don't really care, though. Huh? It was a, was a pretty substantial damage up, actually. And with the range down, it'll be even more substantial. So pretty good. Pretty okay. Just gonna have some fun with this build and then end the run and call it a day. Guillotine? You know what? Why not? The main reason why not is because it confuses me and therefore I'm gonna end up taking more damage, but... You know what? It doesn't really matter. It's an item that we still have to pick up, probably. Uh, you can see what it does. It makes our head spin around us, but we still shoot tears out of our head. And really, that mostly just confuses me because I can never really quite tell where my hitbox is and I end up running into things, but... Provided that we can ignore that for now and just get the damage up from Guillotine instead, then that's okay. The Guillotine also is a damage up at the end of the day, so... Theoretically, it should make life a little bit easier. But I also just walked into a wall, so it's uh, pros and cons at the end of the day. But seeing as that did not have an R key, I will just run for my life towards the lamb and then call it a day, I think. As much fun as this run has been, I wouldn't mind to end this run either. So we're just gonna go for that super secret room, hope that that is roughly where the good times are. Viz once again showing up to help me out. Lost contact, not very terrible with uh, soy milk obviously. Plus it does look very colorful, it's like we're shooting a bunch of bubble gum at all the enemies, so that is also obviously very important. Genuinely didn't see war there, uh, <laughs> just was so focused on the other one that I didn't even notice there was one right next to me. But it ended up working out. I don't really have keys this time around to play around with this too much, unfortunately. And then you just give me a red chest and a golden chest. And another red chest. Sad bombs, teleportation to the angel room, breath of life. Always a good time, you can do stuff like this. Watch it point go down. Briefly touch the flame. You barely could see it because of the brimstone and things going on, but still. Would be cool if... This was the reason we got our second key piece, and then we could be able to do Mega Satan or something like that, but... Unfortunately, that is a very specific situation. <laughs> it is very unlikely for that to work out the way that it uh, would be nice to, but... Shot speed up! Still getting positive pills, surprisingly, enough because of that PhD, the regular one. But I didn't expect to actually still get positive pills when... Um, when we took the bad PhD, but there you go. I think that's probably a statement I've made a hundred times at this point, but... It's a, I'm just always surprised by game mechanics. I'm just a very surprised individual. <laughs> it's 
strength card at the end of the run is also just a nice little addition to make life a little bit easier. And that's just going to be the end of the day. Hope that was just uh, two tricky unlocks that we no longer need to worry about as the keeper. We only have non-time-based things left to do on this character. And that's just a wonderful thing to keep in mind whenever you do anything. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. Hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll do another run as a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.